So today I wanted to talk about Star Trek, uh, and specifically a new Star Trek TV show. Yes, the rebooted movies are okay, I guess, but they're not really Star Trek, because Star Trek is always about moral questions and exploration and what it means to be human, and these movies didn't ask those questions. They were a bunch of explosions and pretty people running around, and they were wonderful movies, but not great Star Trek. And if you historically look at most of the Star Trek movies, most of them really aren't Star Trek anyway. You could say The Undiscovered Country was pretty good. That was an awesome movie, actually. But none of the Next Generation movies were really, really Star Trek. I mean, they were action movies. So Star Trek, just at its best, is a TV show. Uh, and, and that's really where we've had the best Star Trek is, is on TV. So I say we need a new Star Trek TV show. And it just so happens that I happen to have several ideas on how to make a new one. So on Star Trek, the main character is always the captain. And that's simply because he's the one uh, with the most agency. We want to watch stories where the characters have the power to be able to do things. So granted, it's not that realistic that a high-ranking bridge officer uh, would be the one to go down on an away team uh, and go on a mission to a strange planet. But what if the show was about people on the ship other than the captain? What if it was like The Office, but on a starship? So the concept is it's one department on the ship. Uh, make it an interesting one, like science or engineering. And the bridge crew and the ranking officers are like the district supervisors, and they just come in every once in a while. You don't really see them all that much. And the main cast are the ensigns and lieutenants and non-com personnel who make up that department. I think that would be a lot of really cool stories to explore. So this next one is actually my wife's idea originally. But the concept is, we've never really seen what the day-to-day -day routine of Starfleet Academy is really like. Sure, we've seen glimpses, like in The Next Generation's The First Duty, uh, but we've never seen a class being taught, we've never seen tests, or any of the other things that go on at a school. So the entire series would be about the Academy. It would be like Hogwarts, but Star Trek. This next one takes a little bit of explanation. So Section 31 is the Star Trek equivalent of the NSA, but on steroids. They're an independent and secret branch of Starfleet that basically does the things that keep the Federation safe that most of its citizens probably wouldn't approve of. And Star Trek has always been about social and political commentary and making moral arguments. So with all the NSA surveillance and warrantless wiretapping and information gathering that's going on right now, what better reason to have a show to explore the implications of some of those things that are going on? So this last one might just be my favorite, but it takes a little bit to get there. So imagine a galactic conflict between the Q Continuum and the entire rest of the unified forces of the galaxy. We're talking the Federation, the Borg, the Romulans, the Dominion, everyone joining together to battle the menace that is the Q. And it's an endless war which will only result in total unequivocal destruction of everyone involved. So one Q decides that enough is enough and he has to save the universe. And so he does the unthinkable. He destroys the continuum. And just like that, no more war. But now the galaxy is a vastly different place without the Q to police it. And now he's the last of his kind. But if anyone knew he was a Q, he'd be hunted to extinction. So he's a single lost Q, wandering the galaxy, never staying too long in any one place to be discovered. But he gets oh so lonely. So he picks up traveling companions, people who don't mind traveling with a Q and seeing the galaxy. So. Yes, it's Doctor Who, but in the Star Trek universe. To which I would reply, it's Doctor Who in the Star Trek universe. So, there you have it. Uh, a few Star Trek TV series concepts that are free for the taking. Anyone who is in power at Paramount or CBS or whoever owns the rights right now, feel free to uh, peruse, take as you want. It's all yours. If anyone has any comments, uh, about any of the topics I talked about, uh, any further ideas, want to continue the discussion and talk about Star Trek, leave a comment below or send us a tweet. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, Corey, I will hear from you tomorrow and I will be back on Wednesday.